Okay. Uh, the second pillar is around mobilising people. So we believe that people aren't just a bundle of needs and these victims of terrible things that happen, but they're actually the main resource for ending world hunger and certainly ending hunger in their villages. So we mobilise them and the way that the main aspect of that is shifting the mindset. And uh, one of the key techniques that we do for that is a program called the Vision, Commitment and Action Workshop, which is run throughout nearly every country that we run. People have a profound um, process of actually starting to envision the sort of village and life that they want to live in. They look at what sort of what's that going to take and then what actions they need to make that happen. McKinsey and Co did an evaluation of our work in Uganda and found this whole process of mobilising and shifting the mindset was absolutely the most pivotal thing in being able to take people through a process of being self-reliant at the end of only five to seven years. And the third pillar is around local democracy. We don't want to be there forever. Our role is to awaken people, educate them, mobilise them so that they can call government to account, help, it helps stop um, corruption, demanding transparency and actually demanding the um, resources that are rightfully theirs to come to them. And so, for instance, you can be in a village in India and the government, all the government plans will say to have water, everyone should have water, but the poorest of the poor have no voice, they're not even registered properly on the below the poverty line. Stuff that comes into communities is corrupted, but when people are mobilised and, and understand, they start to generate heat on government to start to um, get services that are rightfully theirs to them. We're seeing that across um, the world. So the government then provides the nurses, the water, the vets um, to the communities because we actually don't want a charity there forever doing the health clinic, immunising the goats, doing X, Y and Z forever. It's just not a sustainable approach and our approach is based on um, sustainability and actually mobilising people, working with women and giving them access to local democracy and having those functions work so that they have a um, a functioning community that they can um, work and be involved in. So they're that people. Do you want some water or anything? You've been talking no. for a bit. I'm just conscious no, of you. Fine. You give a shout if you need. Okay, no. that's fine.